Hello, everybody. Welcome back to House of Games. What a brilliant week we are having. If you haven't watched any so far, please stop right now. Go back and watch them from the beginning. Really, really, really good stuff. Three different winners across the first three days. Somebody tomorrow is winning that trophy. No idea yet who it's going to be. Let's meet them one more time, shall we? Our players this week are Mallory Blackman. Hi. Matt Dawson. Hello, Richard. Chris McCausland. Hey. And Ranveer Singh. Hey, everyone. Nice to see you all again. Chris, a big win on Monday. Uh, mm -hmm. Tuesday, Matt and Mallory had a tie break, mm. which yeah. Mallory won. Wednesday, they had another tie break, <laughs> and this time Matt Dawson won. So we've got three separate winners. How was that, Matt, finally, uh, finally getting your first W? Felt the pressure. Um, it was just like piercing through. Um, you you wouldn't want to lose two tie breaks in a row, would you? Well, no, but in the same breath, I think if, you know, a teammate, I think mm -hmm. Mallory's up to the task there, takes the pressure well, applies it. Oh, she's it. pretty good. Everyone's yeah. good. That's the, Ranveer, that's the annoying thing. Everyone is good. Everyone's so quick. So you still buzzer. still yet to have a win Well, I've been week. chatting to Matt off camera. Now, yeah. he's given me some salient advice. Oh, this will be good. Which is that you don't have to know the answer fully in your head when you buzz. Yeah. So then you've just got to... But it's just for you and me. No, I've, I've shared... <laughs> I think it might help every... I'm not, a, I'm not very competitive, so I'm very happy for everybody all the time. Like, oh, that's lovely. But it is Happen. true. You can, you, can, you can definitely buzz in before... You're, you're, you have to trust the process. Trust that your brain, trust, trust that your, your brain will catch up with you. Mm. That's the yeah. yeah. I think trust. what you need to do is really trust in the process, Ramdeer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the weekly leaderboard, shall we? Who's going to win this trophy? I wonder. All of you stood in with a shout. Five points between all four of you. Mallory up the top there, though, mm. with ten points. That's not. It's still anybody's be. game, isn't it? It is so. still anybody's game. Yeah, but you're the favourite. Oh, oh, she hates that. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> pressure, hates it. Pressure, pressure. Yeah. Um, listen, we're going to give away a prize today as well. Hopefully to Ranveer, because the rest of you have all won one. Yeah. Uh, and here are today's prizes. You could oh. win the reusable coffee cup, the compost bin, the eye mask. There's the wheelie luggage, the uh, most selected prize in House of Games history. Or the egg house, little house to keep eggs in. Mallory, what do you think? I think I'd go for the uh, reusable coffee cup. Reusable coffee, because you actually use it, right? Mm, exactly. Matt Dawson? I'd go for the egg containers. Egg containers. It's quite nice, isn't it? We we'll go, go through so many eggs, it's ridiculous. Chris? Has there ever been a more redundant prize than me picking an eye mask? So... <laughs> Oh, stop. I will. Oh, Chris. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't imagine where an egg house would be. I'm going to have to go with the coffee cup. And Ranveer, what would you go for? I'm going to go with the common people and go with the wheelie luggage. Um, should we do it? Three separate winners this week. Uh, great quizzing as well. Our first round on Thursday's House of Games is... <laughs> Double trouble. Fingers on buzzers, please. I'm going to read you two questions at a time. First thing I'm going to do, though, is give you a letter of the alphabet. Our first letter today is going to be O. Now, in both these answers, there will be words beginning with O. I just want you to say the words beginning with O, please. OK? ITV reality series known as Towie and Dickens' novel featuring the artful Dodger. Mallory. Only Oliver. Only Oliver. Absolutely right. Only Oliver. Next two, just say the O words, please. Sitcom starring Ricky Gervais as David Brent. And quadrennial sporting event held on snow and ice. Yes, Matt. Office Olympics. Office Olympics, absolutely. The Office and the Winter Olympics. Office Olympics. Next one. 1971 Stanley Kubrick film adapted from a book by Anthony Burgess. And singer who had a hit with When the Going Gets Tough, the Tough Get Going. Yes, Matt. Orange Ocean. Orange Ocean. Clockwork Orange and Billy Ocean. Absolutely. We are going to change the letter now. Ooh. Oh, um... No more O's. Now I just want the M words. Anything beginning with M, please. 2004 film starring Lindsay Lohan as Katie Heron and 2022 Formula One champion. Yes, Ramveer. Mean Max. Mean Max. 
Mean Girls and Max Verstappen, who all played Ranvier. Well Fantastic. Next one. Conjurer's association with a motto that means not apt to disclose secrets. And dessert made with crushed meringue, fruit and cream that shares its name with an English public school. Yes, Mallory. Magic meringue. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. That is Matt. Magic mess. Magic mm. mess. Oh. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yeah, magic circle and eaten mess. Next one. 1960 Steve McQueen Western, that is a remake of a Japanese film. And 1984 UK top 10 hit by the Weather Girls. Yes, Mallory. Magnificent Men. Magnificent Men is ah. the answer I was looking for. Magnificent Seven, and it's Raining Men. Final letter in this round is going to be Y. So only say the words beginning with Y, please. Panel show about deception, first hosted by Rob Brydon in 2009. And full name of the dessert known as Froyo. Yes, Matt. You, you, yogurt. <laughs> Look at me, say, yeah, you yogurt. You yogurt. Yeah. That so sounds like something Danny Dyer would say to you. Uh, you yogurt. It is what I like to do. <laughs> and frozen yogurt. Next one. Title shared by a Beatles song, album, and animated film. And cartoon animal with a sidekick named Boo Boo. Yes, Chris. Um, yellow Yogi. Yellow yeah. Yogi, Yellow Submarine and Yogi Bear, Yellow Yogi. Final question in this first round. Closing theme of the Benny Hill Show and full name of the sports team known by the abbreviation YCCC. Chris. Yakety Yak Young. It's not, I'm afraid. Oh. Yes, Matt. If it's yakety yak, <laughs> I don't know. Yakety yak, Yorkshire. You're very, very, very close. Ramvia. Yakety Yorkshire. Yakety Yorkshire <laughs> is the right answer. Very well done. <laughs> uh, yakety sex and Yorkshire Candy Cricket Club. Yakety Yorkshire, which is fun to say. That's the end of that first round. Let's look at our first leaderboard of the day. <laughs> Everybody off the mark. Chris McCausland, you have won. Ranvir and Mallory. Two points each. Yesterday's champion, today's leader, Matt Dawson, oh, four points. Nice. Oh, wow. It's good. Good stuff, everyone. I never know who's going to be in the lead in this show. It's a really, really good one. Should we play a pairs game? Yeah. Our pairs game today is going to be... All in the details. Chris, you find yourself in fourth, so you get to choose a partner. Who would you like to play with? Um, I haven't played with Mallory yet, so let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do okay. that, shall we? Mallory and Ranveer, if you will swap places, please. Yeah, Mallory. So, Ramvit and Matt, you're a team. Chris and Mallory, you're a team. In this round, before the show, you did a little bit of homework. You filled in some clues which will lead you to an entertainment answer. OK, so, Matt, before the show, Ramvit had to complete some clues which hopefully will lead you to a character, a character from the world of entertainment. OK. okay. Ramvit had up to three words to complete these clues, but which character is this, please? She first appeared on TV in, according to Ramvia, mid-90s. Episode one of the TV show she appears in was titled Welcome to... Hell. OK. Cool. And your final one... She is assisted by, according to Ranvia, Anthony Head. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Oh, Ranvia, I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. I think those are good. Do you? Yeah. First appeared TV, mid-90s. She is assisted. Does this get passed over? We don't. I'll give you the glory if you do. Do you know it? Uh, yeah. Oh. Um, Miss Marple. Is it Miss Marple? <laughs> it is not, I'm afraid. Chris, you got a clue? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, is it? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> not what a we're looking clue. for. Absolutely. She first appeared on TV in yeah, 1997, so mid-90s. Uh, episode one of the TV show was titled Welcome to the Hellmouth. Oh, I didn't so know yeah, that. So that was a good guess. But it's, a, you know, but it's, it's just yeah, a show, yeah. Exactly, yeah. and you're absolutely right, Anthony Head. He was uh, Giles in that show. Great clues. If you don't know it, you don't know it. 
Chris, before the show, Mallory filled in some clues. Apologies okay. now. And, uh, <laughs> I apologise for mine in advance as well. <laughs> they will lead you to a real person from the world of entertainment. OK, but who is this person, please? She was born in, according to Mallory, Yorkshire? There's a, there's a question. <laughs> Big question mark, Yorkshire there, right, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> On screen, she's been married to, according to Mallory, Grantchester Vicar. Her surname is also the name of a, according to Mallory, Northern Region. Northern Region. I think I, I, think I might have this. So, oh. I'm just going to go out on a limb here. I've got no idea about this Grantchester Vicar thing. Sarah Lancashire. Is it Sarah Lancashire? Uh, yes, it, it is Sarah <laughs> Lancashire. Oh, well done. Well done. Very oh, wow. nicely done. <laughs> she was born in Lancashire, funnily enough. She was born okay. in uh, Oldham. She's been married to Curly Watts. See, Grantchester Vicar was James Norton. That's right. Wasn't it? Who she was very much not married to in uh, Happy Valley, but uh, oh, they, okay. was, they certainly shared a screen. Okay, but it, it would have been a very unhappy marriage. But that's what I got it from, from Lena. Okay. I was thinking James Norton, uh, Northern Region. So very well done. Well done if you got that at home as well. Sarah Lancashire. Uh, before the show, Ranveer, Matt filled in some clues. Okay. And they will lead you to a film. Right. But which film is it? Okay. It depicts historical events such as, according to Matt, Vietnam War. Okay. <laughs> It's based on a novel by, according to Matt, sports shrimp lover, and the main character has a talent for, according to Matt, choosing chocolates. Oh, gosh, this is... I've got to say, those are good clues. Really? <laughs> yeah. Something to do with crustaceans or prawns or... <laughs> um, choosing chocolate. The main character has a talent for choosing, choosing chocolates. chocolates. Should we time you out, Randy? Yeah, time me out. Oh, uh, afraid. Other I'm team, so we don't, sorry, Matt. We, we don't get a no, point, but it is... Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. We were looking for Life is Like a Box of Chocolates. <gasps> and he does depict the Vietnam War, and there's a Bubba Shrimp Company. He says oh, Bubba's Boat. Oh, no! Yeah. That was re those are really good clues, weren't <laughs> they, yeah. as well? Winston Groom is actually the, the <laughs> novelist. It is Vietnam War, and he just runs ping-pong, and yeah. he chooses chocolates as well. Um, final question in this <laughs> round. Oh, sorry. Mallory, Chris is giving you some clues to a musical. A musical. <laughs> okay. But which musical is it? He seems very confident. Uh, <laughs> which musical is this, please? Its characters include, according to Chris, Sylvester, Tom, Top. One of its songs is called, according to Chris, Nine Lives Blues. You've gone, you've gone the Matt Dawson route here, haven't you, Chris? It, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's been made into a film starring, according to Chris, very regretful actors. <laughs> oh, yes! This is Cats. great. I know this yeah. one. That <laughs> is the answer. Well done. <laughs> I, mean, I, I was thinking, nine lives. And then he's the last clue gave yeah. it to me. So, yeah. Without a single fact in my yeah, answer. Yeah, quite good. <laughs> Not a fact, no, you're right. Not a, Not a single fact. <laughs> Sylvester is a cat. Tom, of course, so yeah. Tom is a cat. And Tom, Tom is a cat. Top cat. So clever. There's Grizabella, there's Magical Mr. Mistopheles, the songs, all sorts of things. Memory is be the... Uh, no idea. Uh, and James Corden is in it, um, Judy Dench. But as you say, very regretful actors. Probably sums it up an awful lot better, <laughs> I would say. Uh, that's the end of that round. Mixed bag, I would say, that round was. Ranveer and Mallory, if you will swap back, please. And we'll see where very that good. leaves us. Very that was good. funny. Ranveer has two. Chris has three. Now, the last two days, we've had a tie break between Mallory and Matt, and they are four each again today. How about that? There's nothing between them once again. Three more rounds before we give away our fourth prize of the week. Your next round is... The backwards round. Now, in this round, I will ask the questions backwards and you must give me the answer backwards, OK? Oh, so, Matt, if I was asking your name, you would say Dawson Matt. Oh, OK. Not... See what I mean? Yeah, not... Not... <laughs> not... Yeah, won't, won't yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> what? Not... Yeah. Um, no. It could be okay. here a very long time. <laughs> right. So, buzzers on fingers. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Grey Dorian of Picture the Novel, the wrote... Author Irish, which? Yes, Mallory. Wild Oscar. Wild Oscar is the right answer. Oscar Wilde. Wild Oscar. <laughs> Question next. 
film 2016, which in Mia as role her for Oscar and won Stone Emma? Yes, Chris. Beast, the and beauty. It's incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, Mallory. Story AL? Is incorrect as well. Yes, Matt. Beast, the and beauty. Is that what he said? I thought he got the other way around. It is still incorrect. Ranveer. It's not um, Land La La, is it? Is it Land La La? It is oh. Land La La. Oh. La, La, La it's Land. out at the very end with Ryan Gosling in it. But I enjoyed both of you doing Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, it's Emma Watson. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, question next. Song this of title, The Is What? <laughs> Oh, come on, I know it. I do. Uh, yes, Mallory. Dream in California? Very good. Yeah, really well done. It oh, is, Mallory, well played. <laughs> Mamas and Papas. California Dream becomes Dream in California. Uh, question next. March of 17th, the On Place takes Ireland off St. Patron, the afternoon celebration annual witch. Yes, Matt. Day Patrick Saint. Day Patrick Saint? It is Day Patrick Saint. Well done. <laughs> well done. St. Patrick's Day becomes Day Patrick Saint. Question next. Song this of title the is what? <laughs> Yes, Mallory. Glad rags and handbags. Glad rags and handbags? It absolutely is. Glad rags and handbags becomes handbags and glad rags by Hysteriophonics. That's their version of it. Question next. Novel Dahl rolled A of title, the in for stand BFG abbreviation. The does what? Yes, Chris. Um, giant Friendly Big. Yeah, that's what they call me, Giant Friendly yeah. Big. Big Friendly Giant, absolutely right. <laughs> Question final. Carrie Jim starring also, film 2004, which in Erased Memories, her has who character a played Winslet Kate? <laughs> yes, Ranveer, good luck. Mind. <laughs> a. Incorrect, I'm <gasps> afraid. Yes, Mallory. Mind the... Incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, that is Matt. Mind beautiful? Incorrect, no, no. I'm afraid. Is Chris going to buzz in? He is. Mind... Sunset? No. It is not, I'm afraid. It's mind spotless. Mind spotless. The... Of Sunshine Eternal. Exactly uh, right. Eternal oh, Sunshine of the Spotless sun Mind because Mind Spotless, the of Eternal Sunshine Eternal. Really good film. Let's really, good, really film. good film. Really yeah. good film. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, let's forget that question ever happened. But uh, lovely <laughs> round, well played, everybody. Let's see what it's done to our scoreboard. Ranveer has three, Chris has four, Matt has five. Mallory Blackman just opening up a little lead, seven oh. points. Two rounds to go. Let's play round four straight away, shall we? It is. The Rich List. If you take out your tablets, please. I also have my own tablet for this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a category, and you need to write down a correct answer in that category. If you do that, you'll score a point, unless someone else has written down the same answer as you in which case you will not get a point. And I also write down an answer, so you have to try and avoid mine as well. And see at home if you can avoid all five of us. Your first question is... We're looking for any South American country that borders Brazil. We've got to try and avoid each other's answers. I know it borders a lot of countries. OK, everyone in? Everyone in at home on this one? So, Mallory, what have you gone for? I've gone for Suriname. Suriname, oh. up the top there. Is that a correct answer? Does it border Brazil? It 
does. Wow. So now you have a point. Okay. Matt, what have you gone for? No idea, but I've gone Paraguay. Yeah, surely. Paraguay? Another point. Well done. Chris, what have you gone for? I don't think this answer is right, and it's certainly not spelled right, but I've gone for Ecuador. Ecuador? Yeah. It does not border Brazil, mm. I'm afraid. Ranvit, so Ecuador thought... as well. Yeah. Two Ecuadors. So you get minus points now because it's wrong and you both said the same thing. You don't get minus points, <laughs> yeah. don't worry. Uh, so we give away two points for Suriname and Paraguay, unless... You've got it. I've written the same as one of you. Matt, I'm so sorry. You are kidding. Argentina. Oh, right, there, you go. there we go. <laughs> so you both get yourself a point. Uh, let's take a look at the other answers you could have said. Well done at home if you've got any of these. Bolivia, Colombia, French Guiana, Guyana. There's loads, aren't there? Peru, Uruguay and Venezuela. Borders a lot of countries, doesn't it? The next thing I'd like you to find now is... any letter of the alphabet that is a Roman numeral. Oh, there's not many to choose between, are there? OK, everyone's in. Matt, what have you gone for? Well, I went down the super obvious hoping that you would oh. all go for letters. Yeah, that feels like it might be, a, like, a, the perfect too obvious answer, if you know what Maybe. I mean. Uh, I? Let me know it's right. Has avoided everybody else. Chris, what have you gone for? I've gone for C. C. We know that's right, isn't it? It is indeed. So, it's 100. Two out of two at the moment. Ramvir, what have you gone for? L. 50. Mallory, are we going to get four out of four? It all turns to train oil. Sorry, Chris. Oh, oh, C. <laughs> C as well. Uh, and I avoid. I got X. So we really did. We avoided each other quite nicely. Oh, OK. Didn't we? Yeah. Um, let's see if there are any others. There's a couple more, aren't there? Yeah, D, M and V. Uh, so points for Matt and Ranveer there. Very well done. Final question in this round. We are looking for... any word in the Chronicles of Narnia book titles with five or more letters. So, any of the seven main books. OK, everyone's in. Chris, what are you saying? Nephew. Nephew. Is that right? It is indeed the magician's nephew. Ranveer, what have you said? I'm not even sure this is right at all. Wardrobe? Absolutely. Two from two. Mallory. Sorry, Chris. Oh, Not again. Oh, come on. You are joking me. <laughs> no. That's a weird that one. That is too. a really niche. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think I went too niche there. Wow. Niche, niche and nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, Matt, what have you gone for? I went for the obvious again. Which? Mm. Shredder. Ooh. So, again, Matt and Randy are going to point there, and Chris and Mallory have uh, cancelled <laughs> each other out. You're like an anti team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at the other words you could have said. Battle, Caspian, Chair, Horse, Magicians, Prince, Silver and Voyage. Very well done if you said any of those. That's the end of that round at which Chris and Mallory did each other a great deal of harm. We have one round to go. The last two shows, uh, let me remind you, we have had a tie-break between <laughs> Matt and <laughs> Mallory. Let's take a look at the leaderboard there, shall we? Same. Matt and Mallory, eight points each. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Wow, e Chris and Ranveer just uh, four and three points behind as well, so you can still catch up in this round. We know what the round is. It is answer smash, and we know Chris is pretty good at it as well. Certainly on day one, he was amazing at this Chris one. Chris is good at this one. Um, we remember this week it is a clue and then a song. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Point for a correct answer. Point off. Don't forget for an incorrect answer. And your first category is. 1970s songs. Which 1987 film co-stars Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze? And what is this song? Anybody could be... Yes, Ranveer. Dancing, Dancing Queen? That's incorrect, I'm afraid. Yes, Mallory. Dirty Dancing Queen. Dirty Dancing Queen, we were looking forward. <laughs> next clue, next song. Which Canadian singer had a UK top ten hit with That Don't Impress Me Much? And what is this song? Ah! Yes, Ranveer. Shania 
Twain, no mountain high enough. Well, Shania Twain, no mountain high enough. Good. It yeah. is, well done. Very good. We immediately got that point back. Well done. Shania Twain, eat no mountain high enough. Shania Twain, no mountain high enough. Next clue, next song. Which British director is known for films including The Bridge on the River Kwai and Lawrence of Arabia? And what is this song? Please swallow your pride. Yes, Mallory. David, lean on me. David, lean on me. <laughs> That's someone who knew what it was going to be after David Lean. <laughs> well done, Mallory. Your next category is pop ballads. Those will be the songs. The French term petit pois refers to a small garden variety of which legume. And what is this song? Girl, I'm leaving you tomorrow. Yes, Chris. Peasy. Peasy <laughs> is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> P and easy is easy. Next one. In correspondence, what phrase is represented by the abbreviation SWALK, SWALK, usually written on the flap of an envelope? And what is this song? You became the light on the. Oh. Yes, Mallory. Oh. Sealed of a loving kiss of a grape. Kiss on a. Kiss on a grape. It's of a grape. Incorrect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> <I'm afraid. laughs> Matt. Uh, oh. Sealed with a loving kiss of a rose. This is not, I'm afraid, Matt. I'm so sorry. Is it yes, not? Chris. Sealed with a loving kiss from a rose. Oh. Sealed with a loving kiss oh. from a rose was the answer we were looking for. Where did I get grape from? Where did you kiss, <laughs> kiss on a grape? Yeah. <laughs> is that? Okay, my mind went on a spiral yeah. there, didn't it? I mean, good name for a book, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, any more for any more? <laughs> there are not. There oh, are yes. not. We've had two tie breaks in a row. I don't think we're going to have another one. Matt, if you had got that last one right, <gasps> we would have had a third no tie way. break <laughs> in a row. <laughs> Look at the scores. Our winner on Thursday's House of Games is... Mallory Blackman. Oh, wow. Well done. Even with my great answer. Yeah. You were on eight <laughs> points. One, yeah. You would have been on nine points. We'd... <laughs> Three tie breaks in a row. Mallory, well done. Oh, thank you. Another win for you. How about that? First two time wow. win of the week. Um, and you've won another prize. Which of these would you like? Uh, I'll stick with the coffee mug, please. The coffee mug goes to Mallory Blackburn. Well done, Mallory. One day to go. Double points Friday tomorrow. Eight points for a win tomorrow. Six for second, four for third, two for last. And let's take a look at our leaderboard going into it. Well, Mallory's got a little bit of a lead. Mm. Ramvu with six, Chris nine, Matt 11, Mallory 14. Could still all change tomorrow, given what we've seen this week. Mallory, very, very well played. Thank Matt, you. unlucky. Chris, unlucky. Ranveer, we need a win from you tomorrow. Mm. We'd love it to see all four of you have a win. Should we do it, the final tomorrow? Look forward, Look forward to, to seeing all of you here. Look forward to seeing all of you here as well on the House of Games. <laughs> Well hydrated, that will. <laughs> <laughs> Does coffee keep you hydrated? Oh, I might put orange juice or water or something Whoa. in it instead. No, I'm sorry, you can't put water in it. It's a, it's a, it's a coffee cup. Oh, you won't, you'll never know. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I've, I've got people everywhere, Mary. <laughs>